The question around bed space. Um, so we, you would imagine that as we diagnose more cases that our bed capacity will increase. Uh, indeed, that's happening. As we open new isolation facilities, they start to fill up relatively quickly. And we're running at about between 60 and 70 percent bed occupancy now across about five or six isolation and holding centers. Now remember, as we admit, we're also discharging. So it's not a, you know, it's not like a black hole where patients just go in and don't come out. So as we admit, we're discharging. And also, one of the reasons why we're not, you would expect us to be full by now based on the number of cases we're diagnosing. The only reason why we're not full is two reasons. As we admit we discharge, that's one reason. But as we diagnose and we try to evacuate the patients to the isolation centers, we're finding it difficult finding some patients. And the trend is increasing. So it seems as if people who get a positive test are reluctant to be admitted, uh, maybe because of the stigma, which we are working very hard on, because there shouldn't really be a stigma around COVID. COVID is just like any other infection. When you catch malaria, it's not a stigmatizing disease. When you catch a cold, it's not a stigmatizing disease. When you catch the flu, <clears throat> it's not stigmatization. <clears throat> so we're wondering why COVID is associated with such stigma. And we're working hard to understand these reasons and so that we can give psychosocial counseling to the general populace of Lagos that COVID is just like any other disease and we should refrain from stigmatizing those people that have COVID. So what the point I'm making is that there are people who are already practicing self-home isolation on their own because we can't find them. The numbers they give us, maybe they are false numbers or they don't answer their phones. When we go and retrieve them in their residences, they have absconded from their residences. So they are isolating themselves in different places. So in effect, the concept of home isolation is being practiced by many Nigerians, even though it is not yet a state or a national policy. But the people of Lagos are practicing home isolation, which is one of the reasons why we as government are trying to transition to home care, home base, because it's happening anyway. So we might as well regularize it and make it an official option for some people, especially if you're mild or asymptomatic, to isolate yourself at home. So we're spending a lot of time working around the parameters of what home isolation is going to look like. In another week or so, we'll be able to give you the de definitive parameters of how the state is going to integrate home-based care into our isolation strategies. Thank you.